What about the job that Saudi's done as your defensive coordinator and the job your guys did tonight in smothering this team? Well, um, you know, I don't know defensive coordinator. I mean, who says that? He did last year. He said you kind of made him his defensive coordinator. Yeah, he's more of like, you know, the, the guy that, you know, looks at and take care of like the defensive side of the ball. And Howard Isley is the guy that uh, focused on um, uh, the offensive side of the ball. So, uh, you know, he's done a phenomenal job. All the staff members have done a phenomenal job uh, in their roles, uh, doing whatever they can to help the team, give them the best chance to win. Uh, we have this, uh, this mantra around here that all hands on deck. And our managers does a phenomenal job behind the scenes. Jared, you know, Jerron Simmons, who's our video coordinator, guy that never sleeps, you know, he's doing a phenomenal job as well um, as far as getting us prepared, getting us all the video and helping with the game plans of, you know, with, with assistant coaches. Uh, but, you know, our staff uh, is, is elite staff, man. And, you know, I commend them for all the hard work and, effort and energy that they brought uh, since the time that we all started working together. Um, more importantly, I love that, you know, it works. Uh, we all are different in a lot of ways. We come with fresh ideas. Uh, at times, you know, even if we don't agree, um, you know, it's never per personal uh, because we, we know our hearts are pure and we're trying to do whatever we can to, you know, to help, you know, be the best version of ourselves. And then the Hi, Sorry. Yeah, Juwan, um, what kind of allowed uh, Minnesota to get back into the game, cut it to single digits right before half? Um, Mike, Mike Smith went out the ball game uh, because it's two fouls and um, they got really active defensively. It kind of sped us up a little bit, made us a little uncomfortable. We couldn't run our sets. Um, you know, we got kind of late in the shot clock, and then they went back down. Our defense relaxed. Uh, they made a run, but that's a part of the game. You know, we expect that you know, this is a very good team, a uh, well-coached team, and this game is all about runs. And so close, being able to close the, the half out, and Marcus Carr has done a phenomenal job throughout this season as being one of the elite guards in college basketball. But he had the ball in his hand uh, at the end of the half, and usually he scored, and I was concerned, like, yo, if they score here, then that's truly going to give them momentum. Yes, I knew that we were going to have the first possession uh, in, the, in the second half, but it was good to get that key stop. All right, Ryan's thing. A uh, quick follow-up, sorry. Um, after beating two uh, ranked opponents now, how difficult will it be going forward to kind of keep, uh, keep the team humble and grounded? Our team is humble, man. You know, they, they know that, you know, the season doesn't end until April. All right, Tang. Uh, I think most people were looking at that matchup between Hunter and Robbins tonight. What, what was your evaluation of Hunter's performance? Uh, well, first, we got to play them again. <laughs> so, Robbins is a great player. And, uh, you know, it was, I was surprised to see uh, someone that good left Drake. But then I know the backstory and I understand why now. But he's a tough guard, and Hunter will agree. Um, and but it wasn't on a one-on-one -on -one matchup. It's, it's all about Minnesota versus Michigan, uh, and Hunter is just effective um, in helping us give us the best opportunities to be able to score. Um, and his teammates did a phenomenal job in being patient and deliver, delivering the ball on time on target. In the second half, um, it looked like Hunter played a key role in, in limiting some of those open threes that Marcus Carr had in the first half. Um, how much growth have you seen from him over the first 10 games on, on that end of the court, um, just defensively? Well, uh, you know, kid fresh out of high school, you know, he's been able to now get uncomfortable. He's having had an opportunity to and have to defend night in and night out uh, bigs. Uh, on a high school level, like he's facing uh, here at the Big Ten. And he understands that he cannot take a night off. And every matchup is going to be a very challenging matchup for him. Um, and But he's a competitor, and he's welcome to challenge. But I'm making him do uncomfortable things that he's probably never done before, like guarding ball screens and being up higher on ball screens and not sitting in the paint. Um, because these guards are too damn good of coming off the ball screen and making pull-up jumpers or – getting downhill 
and finishing at the basket with the Euro step or different type of finishes. Uh, these kids work on this stuff. And uh, Hunter uh, knows that his presence on being a two-way player uh, and, and embracing the opportunity of being a two-way player has got to be you know, something that he had to embrace in order to give us the best chance to win.